welcome to Understanding Compensation Pay Plans. My name is Carlin, and I'm excited to do this compensation training with you today because I think it's going to be quite beneficial. I do have a lot of people who ask me to do these particular comp plan trainings. This one is cram-packed, so let's get started. I do want you to know that this is going to be a candid, upfront overview. That means I'm going to share with you the good and the bad. My disclaimer, just so you know, I'm not putting down any company. I want to give you the best benefits to help you learn the secrets on how to build more effectively, learn how to maximize your efforts and the efforts of others, and hopefully with what you learn today, it will become more of a making everything a win, win, win. All right. Are you ready? Why does, is it important to understand compensation plans? Now, just so that you know, this will help you to learn your competition. And because the, the, the rule is, he who knows the rules has a better chance of winning the game. Doesn't that make sense? When you know all of the rules, you have the best advantage. So I'm hoping that that's what I'm about to help you with today. So let's identify some terms and things of what they mean. One of the terms that you hear people say is, mm, is this a pyramid scheme or a pyramid thing? Well, first of all, pyramids are over in Egypt. So they're actually, <laughs> that's how I normally break the ice with anybody go, what? What are you talking about? And let's identify what the word pyramid scheme actually means, okay? When money changes hands and there are no products, goods, or services, it's a pyramid scheme or Ponzi scheme, and it is actually illegal. So if you're involved in something like that where money changes hands just for the fact of making money and there's no products, goods, or services, be careful and be warned. That is truly a pyramid scheme. So you want to identify when people ask you that question, by the way, and if you're a person of credibility, you'd say, I would not do one of those things. And another great objection is to say, why? Are you looking for one? So you can have a little bit of fun with that question. MLM. Normally people say that's multi-level marketing. Of course, if you become an expert in your field, you'll find that to be a good MLMer, it also stands for must lose money. So a lot of people tend to have invested quite a bit in their career over the years to learn how to be a good MLMer. Now, MLM sometimes becomes is offensive to people, so the word got changed just a little bit, and then they called it network marketing. Well, whenever you tell anybody, friend, family, whether it be about a movie, a restaurant, or anything good like that, or a book that you share, you are networking your excitement or you're networking uh, the joy of something you've experienced to somebody else. And most of the time when you network, there is no money involved. You get no compensation. But fun and true network marketing is to be able to do that, have word of mouth excitement and share with others and get paid for doing it. So we are network marketers. I love network marketing, and I think that's very important. The whole world goes around on network marketing and sales. We make the world go around. Let's dive into our very first compensation plan. You may have heard people say a binary. Well, a binary, I like to say let's, let's think of your head as your binary center point position, and you have a right hand and a left hand. And the way the binary works is you, number one is your right hand, number two is your other hand, you go out and get two. It's a matter of binary means two. So you get two who get two. And it continues. They get two who get two and so on, and people continue to do the same. Now here's what a traditional binary starts to look like. See how everything is nice and filled and full because everybody's doing their part. Now, I want to explain something to you. This is the way it begins to work, and a true binary starts to grow like this and look like this and makes lots of money for everybody involved in a binary. But, you know, companies have come along, and they've decided to use the greed factor. They've decided to do little things in the binary that says, well, we're going to give you matching bonuses, and we're going to make sure that uh, the person you personally sponsor, you're going to get credit for. And you then you'll hear leaders and say, oh, never build anybody's inside legs. Let them go do the work. So this is not a binary. This is not two getting two. This is where somebody's building outside leg and a bunch of leaders are building another outside leg or maybe it's only one leg that continues to grow and go and go. And unfortunately, 
this is the kind of um, breakage where a lot of people kind of get hurt through binaries that's not done properly because what begins to happen is it explodes and you hear about all oh, these people making money and that's when the momentum is hitting and that's when the level of excitement come in and they get so jazzed about the binary. But unfortunately, because there are people not getting paid, they don't pay their auto ships and it begins to implode from the bottom up. This is, this is, the company is banking on this. This is where corporations get wealthy by having a binary because there's a lot of breakage. So that's what they're banking on. And unfortunately, the fear of loss takes in with the greed factor that they put in their compensation plan. Nobody will help anybody if this is how they build that binary. So there's, um, again, I said, for the hard work that you do, it explodes, then it implodes just as fast. And unfortunately, people start canceling those auto shifts, and then everybody starts to drop out. And then people are what? Looking for the next best compensation plan. So let's talk about the even number or pass-up compensation plans. Now, there's several different things like this. This is very interesting. Normally, you can get into a company, and when you get into the company, what happens is that you're going to pass up your second, um, uh, fourth, sixth, and eight, eight and ten sales and so on are going to be passed up to the upline. You get to keep the first one. And so it is only the even numbers that are passed up. The odd numbers stay to you. So that was what happens. Take a look at the way I drew this diagram out for you. You'll see that sale number two, sale number four, sale number six, and sale number eight would roll up to whoever is the upline that brought you into this. And by the way, this is a great time to also tell you, there's also straight line matrices that actually just everybody keeps and rolling straight line down, and there have some catches with that. You know, there's plenty of compensation plans. I couldn't actually <laughs> draw them all out for you, but or we'd be here all night. So let's do this. Let me just get through some of the primaries, and anytime you have a question or about something like that, write it down and, and contact me, and I'll be happy to go over that with you. Now, this particular kind of even number pass-up, understand that the people who you bring in, they could, they're no longer, when they're passed up, they're no longer in your business, and neither are the people they bring in. I'm truly not a fan of this one. I don't like this. I don't like doing all that kind of work nor am I a fan of this one either. This is called the Australian one-up, two-up, or three-up, and it kind of works the same way. Your first sale, your second sale, or your third sale, sometimes all three, get passed up to the upline. So a lot of people, 2.6, 2.7, does the average of what people normally recruit into a business. So if the average person could actually enroll three people, really seriously just go out and find three people, well, they've just given away three of their own people. So this is no fun because by passing up your business, again, the sales go to the upline, and so do the people who start doing this. I'm not crazy about this particular compensation plan either. <laughs> and these people are no longer in your business. So how do you build an organization unless you decide you're going to pass up or just make some minimal sales to pass up, and then you're going to go for the people you know that will work in your business, but you never want to tell those people not to go get their best people because their first three best people, of course, get passed up to you. And so what you do duplicates, good or bad, right or wrong, it duplicates, so you want to be careful of what you do. Here's another one. I want you to really be careful of this one. Be aware of this. This one is not good, and uh, this really does work off the greed factor. This one here is simply where they convince you to come into a program, and unfortunately, the level you come in at is the level you are guaranteed to be paid at. So now this is your greed factor. It doesn't matter that they're using the same materials over and over again. Sometimes you might see companies um, <clears throat> that will uh, offer training material, and they'll have a $500 package and a $3,000 package and a, and a, and a uh, $10,000, and, and it goes on and on. Here's what happens. That compensation plan payout, it's the same material. It gets a little bit bigger package. It's reproducing that same material over and over and over that's already done. But what they're really doing is selling the money. So on this one, it works like this. If you came in at $3,000 and brought me in, or maybe you come in at $500 and brought me in at a $10,000 level, you will only be paid $500 because that's the level you paid to come in at. 
the rest of the money rolls up to the next people who have paid more than 500 So the person paying 3000 above you, that person will get the balance between your 500 and that 3000 And the person above them who paid the first person in line who paid the full 10000 gets the balance of the 10000 between there. So what do, you, what, they, what do they want to have you do? To get a bigger piece of the pie, they want you to invest more of the money and more of your commission. Unfortunately, what begins to happen in that kind of thing is it's all about money changing hands, and they're using the excuse that they have a product to sell. And the product maybe doesn't really retain the value. This is the kind of program I don't sleep well at night. I can't sleep good charging somebody ten, twenty, or thirty thousand for a package that's really probably only worth, you know, maybe a thousand dollars. I just can't see that happening and sleeping comfortably at night, so I'm not very thrilled with this. And again, this is where the bigger sale passes up and so you don't want to lose money. You of course are gonna milk your family's income, pull from your savings, and you're going to put your retirement cash into this kind of foolish program. So please be careful of these programs. These programs have hurt a lot of people in the past, and uh, that's all I want to spend time on that one. Let's do this. The one, one is called the cycler or the follow me matrix. All right, here's how that works. A follow me matrix is simply where let's say that they have a matrix. This would be a three by three. So people go out and get three people who get three people, and then what happens is a new matrix is started. And once that new matrix started, you're following. That means I have filled this matrix with people, and now I move out and move on. Unfortunately, what I'm about to do by doing, an, uh, doing a matrix like this, or if it's a two by two, here's where two people, and I help those two get two, and then once I do that, I go out and follow my sponsor into the next matrix. Unfortunately, what are you doing? On the, on the three buys, the two buys, the two by three, you are leaving the bodies behind. You're not helping those people. You're putting them into the matrix, and before you know it, they helped you get your cash for cycling. You're out and have followed your sponsor, and unfortunately, by leaving those people behind, they don't even have a chance to cycle because now what happens is all of the leaders definitely are cycling because they become recruiting machines. So you really become the sole producer of what you're doing, and you need as many bodies as possible so that you can continue to push yourself through the cycle. Boy, I did a couple of these before, and I'm – being an enrolling person, this is where my enroller says, oh, my gosh, you pushed me through again. You pushed me through again. Because what happens is I might cycle myself twice to bump myself through a cycle or three times because I'm putting those new people in that next matrix that I go into, which pushes out the sponsor, then pushes the next person out. So you see how that starts to happen? That's not really a great feeling either. But I am a fan of matrixes if done properly. Let's talk about the Unilevel. A company or corporation that does a Unilevel program, and you need to look over history and see what I'm talking about. Unilevel is where Uni is straight across. So a Unilevel means you can go as wide as you want, as far as east is to west. Companies that do this, tell you that there is stability for the long haul to stand. Because what they're doing is rewarding you as a recruiter or a worker for your efforts of what you do. Now, the, the rule is normally, you know, width is for show and depth is for dough. What happens is on a unit level, if you just did it the way the company says, let's do it, well, you go straight across and you continue to go as wide as you want. But unfortunately, the sad part is, you're the one that makes the most money because you become the major worker bee. But all of your work, you can't, it doesn't go to help anybody else here. So there is a way to really maximize the unit level and make that unit level comp plan work in your behalf. I'll cover that shortly. The matrix. I love a matrix. And they come in all kinds of shapes and sizes. So let's not be fooled by what they do. This is for the people who truly love people helping people. Now a matrix, they've done them in 3x7s and 4x7s and 5x7s, and I've seen 5x10s, and, and I've seen 10x10. 10 10 and So it, it's, it's crazy. But where you can sponsor and place is really amazing. 
This, for simplicity, I'm using a very simple five by matrix here. So let's take a look. You sponsor five people, and you know if you if you're in a matrix, you've got to if you want to been, bring in person number six, seven, and eight, where are you going to put them? You can sponsor them under somebody else. And so if you're an enrolling, sponsoring, crazy machine, I'll show you how to build a matrix that makes the most sense in the way you put people in. Because if you went out and, and brought in 10 people, you'd bring in uh, five across, let's say, and you'd give one to person one, one to person two, one to person three, one to person four, one to person five. Everybody equally has been shared. You've helped everybody with a little something underneath them. And then if you're a sponsor, you're going to come back and you're going to do the same. Number one would get the second person. Number two would get a two person. Number three would get the second person. Number four. Hopefully you have some key leaders, however, that would help you in a matrix. What's nice about your matrix, if you find some key leaders, let's take a look and see in the matrix. If I found three key leaders, instead of me building 100% of my business, each one is building one-fifth of my business. So one-fifth, 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 and maybe I'm working on a friends and family leg, and then maybe I am working on finding that next leader for position number five. So a matrix is very powerful if you work it properly, but there's things you have to know about the matrix. If you cannot sponsor and place yourself, then we use the term pay it forward. And paying it forward would be that when you've met whatever quotas are set for you in a company, that then you begin to help others. So let's say a company says you have to have two to get paid or you have to have one to get paid. Once you do your one, pass on the next one. Or once you do your two or once you do your three, whatever the company uh, compensation plan is, that's where you have to understand how this works. But look, if you did a – think about this, a four-by matrix, a you know, four-by seven or a five-by seven or a ten-by seven, those are very powerful big money. There's a lot of money in there. Here's what happens, though. If you learn to do a matrix on a small scale first before you expand it to the larger scale, if you start saying, I'm going to do a matrix, if it's a five-by matrix and you only play with three people in the, in the top and help just those three, then your matrix, you're going, oh, now you learn how to master it. And a leader comes along, and a leader would go in position four. And then as you're working and working, another leader comes in. And now you, what you've done is you literally have people helping people, intermixing other people, and you want to mix it up. Mixing your friends, my friends, their friends, her friends, his friends, this is what makes this so much fun because I do say this. Remember, you're talking about each level of a matrix. You get paid on every level. And when you have friends mixing up friends, it becomes really fun Oops. because what you are able to do is help other people and maximize your business. But let me say this on this, okay? You don't want to love people right out of your business. So you want to keep your emotions out of a matrix especially. This is not the kind of compensation plan that you build straight down because if you build them straight down too fast, you drive them out of your business. And I've said this, and I'll say it again, but every stud knows a dud, and every dud knows a stud. So when a person comes into your business, they're going to maybe know somebody who knows somebody who knows a Carlin or something like that, and they might put somebody like me on your fifth or sixth level. And that will drive a lot of what I do out of your business. So the rule is to keep people high and tight on a matrix. Fill the holes, if you will. Now, I'm going to share something with you. I told you that I'm going to teach you some of the secrets, and this is one of my keys. If you understand compensation plan and you now know some more of the rules to win the game, what happens if a company sets a compensation plan but you begin to learn the, the balance of these compensation plans and decide to marry them? This is my favorite. My favorite is to find a compensation plan that either has a matrix that I could run like a unit level because it's an expanding matrix, or to take a unit level and work it like a matrix and begin to expand it on the unit level line when I need it. Let me be more clear. When you take and you're help people helping people in a, in a compensation plan, remember I said every stud knows a dud and every dud Every stud knows a dud, and every dud knows a stud. And this is to not assume or prejudge who will and who won't, because those you think will do a business won't do it. Those you think can, can't. Those you think won't, will. 
So you can't prejudge, but you just play fair. Wouldn't it be fair on right of movership if I was to come right in and tell you, if I were to come in and say that um, because you made a business decision to come and join my business, wouldn't it be fair to put you in the first top highest position? It's called right of movership. You made that decision. So why will I take you like a dangling carrot and throw you and hold your application and tell other people, I have some people I can put underneath you, and hold you back as bait when you're the one who's made the decision? Don't you deserve to have those people come underneath you because you're in the business? That's why I play fair on this. I think right of movership is crucially important. And besides, the next people who come in might be somebody who knows somebody that's really going to help explode a matrix for you that you've never seen happen in the, in the past. So that is, that's exciting. Okay, so you're going to put people under people in the right fashion, but if you say, I've got a matrix, and I'm going to build it five wide, but I'm only going to build three right now, and then you help those three get three, and then you help those three get three, then you move and say, I need to come up higher. So now you build your next person up, and you start playing this way. And you watch those levels, because if you love mom, and you put her in your business, and then you love your sister, so you put her under mom, and then you love your aunt, and you put her under your sister, and then you love, and you put her under, you're going to drive them down five or six levels, and it's a straight line, and it really is more harmful than good. So you want to be very careful as to how you build a matrix. What are the rules that I told you? Placing people and paying it forward, building your matrix, where you can take a matrix and it expands like a unit level. So if you go five wide and you're getting the depth you need, anytime you decide on a unit level, you start another line, like number six or number seven. What if your matrix looks like this? There's a 10 by. How do you like that? You took a matrix and you expanded it in the unilevel fashion. Do you see the power of what a unilevel could do for you? It puts you in full control of your business and yet still gives you the benefit of using a matrix of people helping people. Isn't this amazing? When you start to learn this and you start to say, oh my gosh, there's so much to learning about compensation and play plan, pay plans. Remember I said, he who knows the rules of a pay plan knows how to win the game. So let's bullet point those high uh, to keep those dollars coming in and to make the maxim maximized pay for everybody in your compensation plan plus yourself. These are some key rules you'll want to note. And I have them structured right here by the dollar sign. High and tight. Keep your people high and tight. Keep your emotion, keep that heart out of your business. And I would say, you know, cover the names, watch the people that are producing, and give your time to those that are producing. Now, I mean love everybody in your business, but really spend your quality time with those who deserve your attention for the things they're doing. And give the time to those to help them to see you're willing to invest more when they start putting time into themselves. Focus on your action plan. In other words, what is your plan of action before you get started in your business? How are you going to do this? Are you going to go three by? Are you going to go four by, five by, seven by, ten by? What are you going to do? Once you know your action plan, stay focused and stay to it. Don't differ from it. Fill the holes. The more solid the structure, the more solid the house, the more everybody wins. Don't worry about those in this kind of a comp plan who might win by default. That's okay. Sometimes you're going to gift something to somebody and they maybe have done nothing for it. And they're just going to win because they bought a ticket, right time, right place, and it might be their time. This is a people helping people business. Most people don't like to take something for nothing. So if you're doing the work and they're receiving, they're either going to feel guilty and produce something or you're going to say, that's okay. This is what I needed to do to get where I am right now. And you just have to look at gifting that and not getting stuck on that one minor issue. Stay focused, stay positive, have fun, mix it up and fill the holes. Now, when you do this, this is just the beginning. I am a fan of people helping people and make and paying it forward and knowing that what I do will come back in my effort. And I hope 
that you have learned today, this has been something of value. And the information and the time invested to really go through this, you may have to go through it again to get this. I'm going to share with you one of my favorite sentences. Remember this. Knowledge is power. You've heard that before. Yet, I believe it's the application of your knowledge or of that particular knowledge that is so powerful. Now, I'm here to assist you in whatever your endeavors might be. So I can only do that, however, when you reach up, when you have questions or you have uh, need help or assistance, and I have a way for you to do that. Okay, there is my cell phone number, so you can text or, or call. And by the way, I'm California time, so you want to do that anytime after 10 a.m. Those are my office hours. And Monday through Thursday, I truly will work to help you in your business, if you'll honor that with me. The next thing is this. If you have a question that needs an answer, I want you to know that you can email Stefan for, to, for my, at my attention. In the subject line, put attention, Carlin. And email support at trends2000.net. Stefan will make sure that I get your information and your question. And the other way to get my attention as well is you can go to writeitdown.biz and simply go through the marketing system that's there and look at and find the request a call back and simply request a call from me. Put your information in, tell me the best time to reach in, the best information, and make sure you do your part and then I can do my part. Now, this concludes the training of the compensation plan for today. There's more, and there are more pieces that come in line, so watch for what's coming that will help you to understand even more on how to build, how to structure, how to make it happen, and the fun you can have with the next pieces that I train. Um, thank you so much for your time invested, and uh, look for the PDF documents also on this, and go through this recording as many times as needed so that you become a pro in your industry.